This is a quick tutorial on how to run a DJI Assistant in debug mode. I've sent you to this website, it's got all the links. So if you click on that download there, scroll down, there's a software archive. Click on that and you want the oldest version you've got there. Uh, I think it's 1.12. So that'll be downloading for you. Once it's downloaded, go in your download file. Click on the link, that's it, open it up, run it, it's self extracting so no problems, accept the privacy uh, policy, next, install, next, and away we go, it should start installing for you, shouldn't take too long. Almost there. Right, it's running the script in the background. Yep, okay. Right, there we have it. That's in installed. Shut it down. Now you need to change the script. So using, once you've installed Notepad++, you need to find the path, which is Program Files. And it's DGI, and then open that up again, and you want apps, and then you'll see the main. Open that with Notepad++. There you go. Go to line 113, and all you need to do is take the forward brackets out, just the two of them. Once you've done that, it just should, should say just main, and that's fine. So go to save. But you need to save this is in administrator mode. So yep, yes to that. Go back in and go save it again. I made the mistake of not actually saving it, and it didn't order the uh, the script. So not very clever. Um, yeah, so open up the uh, administrator too, and you'll see in the right hand corner in a minute, there you have it, um, that's a script mode, so basically we need to go in there and change the debug values. So it will say zero, change the zero to one, and change the false to true. And that's it. So when you open it up, once you've connected your DJI Spark, you'll see a whole lot of new options open to you. Um, the only one that I want to play around with is the ESC and the motor ones. Um, but it's, it is quite in depth, as you can see. So open up your Spark. And then you'll see basic settings. That's your motor layout. So if you go into ESCs, it will then show you and you can play around with the calibration of the ESCs and the motors. So a really good option if you uh, need to test your DJI. What the other functions do, no idea. Um, to be honest, it's not something I have really want to be mucking around with. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for listening.